like a boss. Doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her, and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. What happened to your arm? We cut it off. Ben, I could just kill you right now. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying, we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits, hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill. Here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny. Whoa, Ben. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben. I'm... Oh, shit. Here they come. In the house. Holy fuck. That just came out of nowhere we've been. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Help Krista. We'll do. He gave me fucking four things to ben. think. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi. What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Can you not stay on his feet for fucking once? But every episode he must slip. For fuck's sake, Lee! Ugh. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Knife, 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 Hurry. knife. Well, well, well. Eh. Fuck it, click on it! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? 
get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Yes, again. Sturdy my ass. Get upstairs. Go. That's the best thing you can say. Sturdy my ass. Run. I'm going, to try, I'm going to try and use that as a thumbnail. That was an awesome, that was an awesome film. Just pause man there, boom. That was epic. There's far too many. You don't even have that much bullets. Far too close for comfort. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't going to happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. 
I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate. I will. ruin that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy. What do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny, whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I 
Seems like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. He wanted to die. Him Crawford. What's that now? When I had him there, in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Well, he can't fight for shit. Well, look at him. Hey. Soft as rotten fruit. Like you guys didn't have enough problems without punching each other in the face? Yeah, he had to knock some sense into me before we met you on the train. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kay. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. And sometimes I can't help but wonder how you caused all the rest. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Holy crap, that was a lot of talk. That was the longest cutscene I think I've ever watched. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Yeah, that's that's so sad. Well guys, I think I'm going to end the video there, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button if you want to see more of The Walking Dead, please don't forget to subscribe, 
Thanks for watching. Peace.